let's just say that on this episode, there was a transference of peaches that should have taken place. Andy, you paying attention, damn it? And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to put my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is going to be my review for Season 9, Part 3 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, so we're finally getting to the shit. Now, like I said, there should have been some transference of some peaches that actually went on around in this little episode here. And we're going to get to it in a minute. And it's all about Peter and Shamia. Just chill with me for a minute. We're going to get to it. Let's talk about Swamp Thing first, okay? So, we got Bob comes out, and we're going to rehash all the shit with him and Sheree. Now, I'm, I'm personally, I'm tired of the story of the ass whooping before the Chateau became. I'm about tired of it now. It is what it is. Y'all ain't meant to be together. Get the fuck away from each other and go on and do whatever the fuck it is that y'all planning on doing. I don't really give a fuck no more and I don't want to hear no more about it. Bob, you simple as hell. You still grinning and skinning. He over there grinning. He got a nervous grin. That's all it is. Nervous laugh, nervous grin. He over there grinning. Sheree sitting there stupid. Whatever. But this is the, 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 the gist of it. They are open to do some parenting co-parenting with each other, they're close to relationship. Who didn't know that? Okay, so we're done with that. <laughs> Let me say this. Okay, so we were talking about fashions. I didn't talk about fashions because I wasn't real pressed with anybody's fashions. I, I wasn't impressed, nor was I pressed. But you know who was pressed? Did you all catch Charade this episode? Kept sliding and readjusting herself Baby, that motherfucking taffeta is eating her ass up, honey. I know your ass is uncomfortable over there. It has been 10 or 12 hours. That bitch is sitting in that shit. And I know that damn cheap ass taffeta is just is eating your ass up. And the motherfucking stays in that dress is probably poking the shit out of you. Sitting over there. She keeps sliding. And child, this is what happens, honey, when you wear shit. <laughs> shit, don't be comfortable after several hours. I laughed at her so bad, I said, poor thing. <laughs> oh, fucking dress. Moving on. Fuck all that. Let's go on to Peter. And, you know, the guys come out, but that Peter. Peter. Peter, 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 Peter. Peter that came out there with some nasty motherfucking outlook. Peter's performance was absolutely peach- Perfect. I said, Peter, you are mean. <laughs> you are hateful. And I'm here for it. He was so mean. When he said that shit, he said, if I can't have Cynthia all of her, I don't want none of her. So he let them know, I ain't put my dick nowhere near Cynthia. Now y'all keep on saying y'all think we had sex. She didn't get any of the dick, okay? And she was sitting over there looking kind of stupid. I was like, ooh, that's, that's kind of bad. Okay. And it gave it very much of like she wanted it, but she wasn't getting it. So that was not really a good look. I was like, ooh, okay. Then when uh, Andy asked, are you dating? And, and Cynthia's like, oh, I've been on a date. You know, she don't really want to talk about that. She's alluding to it because she really wants to continue to fuck Peter and be Peter's friend. She just don't want to be married to Peter. But Peter ain't going for all that. So she says, I've been on a date or whatever. Um, Peter's like, shit, I've been dating, I've been fucking, I got this, um, this somebody I really, really like, I mean, he was like rubbing it in, did y'all clock that? 
He was rubbing it in. I mean, he stuck the knife in and was twisted. And I think I see Cynthia's hair fall on one side. I said, girl, oh, well, this is what you think. You know, say watch your ass for you just might get it. Honey, Peter was really digging. I said, oh, wow, Peter. Then once they move on past that, they got to talk about um, Portia and Phaedra. And then Peter addressed some of the things that had actually went on. You know what I mean? He started like literally letting them have, I said, oh, this is it right here. Peter like, fuck this. This is my last shebang on here. I'm great. Get in. He went, when he asked her, he said, well, where's Todd? Why ain't Todd here with you? Where's Todd? And Portia, you know, Portia was sitting around a lot of time with the deer caught the head like thing going on. Um, on this episode, just stupid, and she was trying to answer that a little bit, and Peter was giving her very much of, bitch, get on, anyway, then with Phaedra, she's over there, Phaedra, Phaedra was so smug, this whole episode, that, just wait till I get the candy, I had a request for candy, and it wasn't very, um, it's what I would have liked to have seen, and maybe I'm petty, but, you know, am I patty? Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. But just wait till I get the candy and I'll tell you what I really wanted for Phaedra. But she was sitting over there with her nose all up in the air like she has been. Very, very bitchy. And he asked her, because she said, oh, I want you to know, talk about all that bullshit of how, oh, yeah, I want her to have the best. And this, that, the other, talking about Portia. And, he, and when Peter asked her, do you have everything together? Do you have the whole package? Is your husband with you? Are you married? I said, oh, got her ass together. And she, up, 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 up. I said, he was giving that up. Are you married? Do you have no I said, oh, Peter. Then had enough. Had enough of it. Got up and walked the fuck off. I said, if that wasn't peach perfect, honey, and it was peach worthy. If Peter never had a peach, he should be granted one for his performance tonight. And then, since he's not going to be coming back, take that peach and give it to Shamia. Because when I say for the evening, the bitch who did all the reading and the shutting shit down, Shamia. Shamia was letting them have it. And them, I mean, freaking frack. She was getting them so thoroughly together. She really, really was. Child, just all kind of reads. She said that motherfucking Phaedra was using Groupons to get her goddamn plastic surgery. <laughs> she just, I mean, it was just, she just on and on and on. She, she was letting that damn Phaedra have it at every corner. Every corner. I said, oh, well, a mess. Told you, you try to sleep with my husband. Told her, I'm getting ready to get married. Are you married? You're not married, are you? But I'm getting ready to get married. She was told her, oh, well, yeah, the next time you, uh, the next time maybe your marriage will last longer than a year. She said, yeah, maybe. People stop trying to fuck my husband. I was like, ooh. Just put it all out there. That phase was looking so ridiculous. So Peter ended up leaving. At that point, you know, the other guys ended up leaving as well. But before they went, there was some back and forth between uh, Todd and Phaedra. Todd was getting at Phaedra's ass too. You know, calling her out on the bullshit. And uh, he said, you know, there's a lot more things that I could have said about you. We could have said a lot of things about you, Phaedra. You know, and, and she knows that. And she's like playing on that. You know what I mean? Todd's trying to stay in a man's place and let Candy handle it. Because you can see that Todd's tongue is just as sharp as one of these bitches sitting out here. And when he told her, he said, but that's okay. Everybody knows that the feds are still watching. I said, oh! <laughs> now, Phaedra, I said, child, and Shamia gave her from Southern Bell to a hooker. I said, oh, child, a mess. So, Candy literally called the shit because there was this whole little thing where Shamia, poor Shamia, sure called herself going, going to apologize to Shamia because they made it very, they were like, girl, you know what? It was very evident that you did not stick up for Shamia the way you would stick up for Phaedra. And you supposed to have been friends with Shamia. 
way longer than you were friends with, with Phaedra. So when she was trying to, you know, come up with some fake old apology, Child Candy was like, mm -mm, that, don't, mm -mm, that don't even sound right. That don't sound right. They were really trying to sweep things under the carpet. Candy just wasn't letting it happen, and neither was Kenya. Kenya and uh, Portia started going back and forth, and she going to say, fuck you, shut the fuck up. She gonna say, "Yeah, no, my my uh, my anger management ain't working now. Shut the fuck up." And King is like, "You shut the fuck up, bitch." And they go back and forth. And then Andy jumps and's like, "Okay, you guys, this that and the other." And I had to scream because that motherfucking Kenya made it be known. She said, "Listen, I ain't got no problem with. It. I'm saying what I have to say." She said, "What she got to say." But what I'm gonna tell you that I'm not gonna do. Nobody's gonna tell me to shut the fuck up. And I mean nobody. I said, oh, did you hear that, Andy? Not no old nappy-headed bitch sitting over on the couch with her Christmas dress on. Not no producers. And not no middle-aged fags sitting in the middle. Honey, ain't nobody get ready to tell me to shut the fuck up. Understand? I said, come on, Kenya, bitch. And then she turned around and called Phaedra. Not Phaedra. Uh, Portia Elvis. <laughs> That <laughs> fucking Andy said. Do you think she gonna say he kills us? She gonna say, "Come on, look at that dress and look at that hair." I said, "Oh, <laughs> I said, girl, it do kind of look like <laughs> high time in Vegas." I, mean, I was like, "Oh my god, that goddamn kid is stupid." But she was still going on with her bullshit, all of that old dumb shit. Um, and still trying to throw little digs in, you know, True T, what was it last week? It was True T, bitch. This time, her and Candy, um, they start going back and forth, and they start talking about the, you know, she's saying, if you know something's wrong, why would you continue to perpetuate it, and we're supposed to be friends or whatever, and you're letting people say, like, that I'm a lesbian, all of this. And I was kind of laughing because do they not consider themselves lesbians? So I guess they're just, what are they, bisexuals? Child, y'all some lesbians, honey. It is what it is. But they're trying to throw it off on, oh, no, to be a lesbian, that means that you only sleep with women. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> they're going back and forth. <clears throat> And then, this is the part that has killed me. Phaedra has all but went ahead and admitted, you know, about what happened. But she keeps on putting it on. I was drunk. I was drunk. I was drunk. Regardless of whether you were drunk or not, you kissed Candy in the mouth twice. Todd was playing with your titties in your butt. And you asked Candy to eat her pussy until she came in your mouth. You did that. They even touched on being down at the church, standing up condemning the gays, when meanwhile, you had a little spot of puss right over here, honey, while you were talking. The people in the front row smelt it. Anyway, moving on. So she starts to throw, she starts to try to deflect and try to act like she ain't attracted to candy. Bitch, now you're going to have to come better than that. I, and I've noticed her do this like two or three times. You'd have to come better than that. And I laugh when Candy said to her, I should have let you go on down there and eat it and then kiss my ass while you were at it. I said, oh, it's getting funky in here. I said, okay. And then she turned around and going to say, I, I can smell her from here. So now Candy got a funky pussy. Really? 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 Girl, sit down. Sit down. She's so ridiculous. And there she go to another little deuces to you, bitch. I was like, girl, you so goddamn stupid. But the highlight of the night, well, one of them. There's two more. The highlight of the night, one of them is when that motherfucker, okay, because first of all, Todd says something about the feds are watching. And Shamia's last and final wrap up is when she said, I just want you so I always just wanted you to watch your friend. That's it. Just watch your newfound friend and that. And Phaedra said some other shit to Shamia. And Shamia said, okay, Portia, 
Don't leave your credit cards and your license around her because you know she deals in fraudulent activity. <laughs> if y'all don't give Shamia a peach. Shamia's a hot ass mess. Give her a peach, honey. Peter ain't coming back. Go on and give Shamia Peter's peach that he deserved. Give it to her. I fell out laughing. But what I really wanted was right at this point right here. This was the last thing. When I tell you bust it, bust it, that goddamn, the whole, that last little five seconds of the program when Portia thought she was really saying something. Well, I got a cease and desist letter from Candy, so I can't say anything else about it, about the drugging thing. I'm going to have Phaedra talk since she's the one that actually told me about them planning to drug me. Baby, a hush literally fell over the room. Like, you're the one that's all this time, all this time, it was actually Phaedra that is the one that told. Because at first, I didn't think nobody actually told Portia that. I thought she was some other shit she was making up. I really did. I thought she was just making up. Come to find out, motherfucking faulty ass Phaedra is the one who actually put that in her head. And I'm looking at Candy, and I'm like, okay, so you know shit was getting ready to erupt. And I was like, oh my God, and it cut off. So we're going to go into it next week. But I'm going to tell you what I wanted to see. And y'all going to say I'm petty and all of that. And I'm, I'm here for it. It's cool. You go on and do it. I don't care. I really wanted at that point, I had so much of enough of Phaedra. I literally wanted Candy to leap, leap across. Do you all remember the way that Tommy leaped across that couch on a little scrap on Love and Hip Hop last season, like a little spider monkey. I wanted her to leap over there and just go to pound it on the top of motherfucking Phaedra's head and beat the shit out of her. She really deserved, I mean, literally, at this point, there's no more words left. Phaedra literally deserves, she deserves for Candy to beat her whole motherfucking ass. She really did. That means it's, you know, it's just too far. Too, too far, bitch. Too far. I mess. I can't wait till this shit roll back so we can see what's going on. But uh, that motherfucker, sh that Shamitra, or Sh Shamia, rather, she need a peach. Bitch look good in her blue dress. You know, she looked just as good as the rest of them. And child, she was reading down. Reading down. So I'll catch up with y'all next week. But yeah. Phaedra need her ass whooped. She really did. She need her ass, and she's still sitting there looking. I said, look at you, old Ugmo. You need to cut that shit out. Need her ass whooped. Later, y'all.